his legs loose. But rich nigga rule. So much so, I'm about to bust out the room. All different flavors, way more than 32. Fuck with these shoes, you can't mess with these dudes. Nike we boss, we about to sock the knees. Go to boots, it's on dude. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Soul Brothers, hosted by yours truly, Flex Luther, and none other than Morgan Sneaker Room. Today, guys, we welcome a special guest, AD Sneaks. Man, how you feeling? What's new? I'm good. Good. Just a, just another Saturday, you know, doing chores, taking care of the kids. You know, nothing glamorous, but it's life. I like it, man. I like it, man. That's the best type of life, man. Absolutely. So- 80 sneaks man you are you're a teacher right you're yes. a middle school teacher um and th- I, I wanted to save this question for later on in the pod but uh i was once at, i was an ia uh at an elementary school and okay. of course being the the sneaker guy right like you're almost like famous in the in the school right do you uh okay. what's your experience with that Oh, dude, kids, kids love it. Um, like I've been, I've been wearing my sneakers to school since, so this is my 10th year teaching middle school oh, yeah. this year. And like first few years of teaching, I was like, you know, I came from like graduating and, you know, I do my student teaching was like shirt and tie and like, yeah, nice stuff. And I was like, this ain't me. Like, I, I'm not comfortable doing this. I'm just yeah. going to start like being me. And then as soon as I started doing that, like kids are like, oh, yo, done. Like, what you wearing today? Like, what are those? What are those? Yeah. And then you see some kids walking in with other stuff and like, they want to wear their nice shoes to impress Mr. Mm-hmm. Button and like yep. all this, dude, it's great. Like, it's, I it love this rapport with the kids. Like it's, exactly. it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, that's a great way to build those relationships, uh, yeah. with the kids. So and we'll get more into that here in a little bit, but, um, we're going to start off the way we always start off with what was on feet today. Ooh, uh, okay. Yeah, you guys go first. I got nothing yeah, special. Flex. So. I, I got I got flex. You know, flex usually goes first. No worry, my hands are free, so I'm not gonna. All right. All right. So, um, I've been on this this journey of wearing sneakers that that I usually don't wear out of my collection. Um, I got a lot of small pickups that I got for like a cheap price, uh, and they're not the best looking shoe. But we got the hyper flight uh, of oh, phone uh, phone posit exposed. I think it's released in 2013. Um, I had the fun challenge of trying to find something to wear with these. Um, but yeah, that was what was on feet today. Like I was going to go play basketball, but I did not do any isn't, basketball. Isn't playing. that a KG shoe? I think he had a version of that. Like, um, yeah, he had. I know he had the ones that had the zipper with like the circle up on like the ankle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember what them were called though. Hmm, that what my it might what drawn. But I think it. he wore those. Yeah, maybe not that colorway, but yeah, <laughs> um, I think that was a that was definitely a, a KG shoe. Like um, I wore, and I think I already wore these on the pod, but um, I was I was coaching tennis all day, so I was literally in my Wilson Rush Pro Aces. You know, those are <laughs> the sneakers I wear. But going to and from the tennis courts, um, I wore. The uh, I think I've worn these on the show, but the Kith nineteen oh six R in the black, gold, red, green colorway, really really clean. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a great shoe. It's a great rainy day shoe. Uh, so yeah, this is what I wore today. Those are those I are beautiful. Do. I they yeah. are gorgeous. I I unfortunately passed on both of those colorways, and now I kick myself every time I see somebody yeah. have them. I'm like, mm. <laughs> well, for me, uh, since today was it was kind of a errand running day. My wife my wife was at work. I was taking care of the kids and just doing stuff. So I mean, I didn't. This is I I changed to get onto the podcast. If that yeah. makes you you know kind of give you some insight for what the day was like. Yeah. Uh, so I, I wore just the the salehi cross like today. yeah like, yeah, yeah. Um, i like it yeah because i mean these are these are the my by the doors like if i gotta go run the garbage out if I yeah gotta go check the mail if i gotta go run to the store real quick like just easy on easy off yeah. socks no socks it doesn't matter they're they're great that it is that is a great shoe um i can tell you that's that's probably the most real like sneaker of the day that we've had on this on the mm-hmm. show because <laughs> um, on recording days i make sure that i wear a sneaker like you know 
So I'm yeah. not, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, well I wore my I salmon toes today. today. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, um, yeah, but yeah, I make sure I'll, I'll wear something huh. worth showing on days that we're going to record. Um, so yeah, uh, awesome. So, uh, so Andy, people know you online, mostly on Instagram, but you're starting to, uh, go into TikTok now and making video content, but let us know a little bit about who you are and, um, who you are in the, in the sneaker social media sphere. Um, so I am AD sneaks, uh, on social media. Um, Instagram is kind of where I started doing all that stuff. Cause I just take pictures. I love photography um outside of sneakers like i love doing like landscape photography and, and taking pictures of my kids doing all the stuff that they do and um and so yeah i just love taking pictures of shoes i got my own little studio set up in my basement um that's my that's, that's my, my relaxation life. time like i love to come down here and take photos get creative because that just frees my mind of all the other crap that happens that day so yeah, uh, Instagram, I take pictures, the occasional video I'll throw up on Instagram, um, and uh, TikTok, honestly, I just forget to post on TikTok half the time, so after I make something, because everyone's like, oh, you gotta, like, once you make content, you gotta post it everywhere, and I, yeah. forget, to, <laughs> I forget to do that. Yeah, yeah um, um, you have a very, uh, I'm not gonna say unique, but you, you've got a very distinct style, um, when you take your pictures and when, when yeah. I see, like, even if it, if it's not you who's posting the pictures, when I see a picture that you have taken, I'm like, oh man, that's 80, that's 80 sneaks right there. Right. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. what's your, so you're a teacher. We, we already went over that. What is your, like, is photography a hobby or what, like, what got you into photography? Uh, mainly it was a hobby to start, uh, just like back in high school, just want to take pictures of all the stuff I do with my friends and just kind of document those memories. And I think that came from my dad always having a camera out when we were doing stuff. Yeah. And, uh, then like, through high school and through college i just love like messing around with photography like it was just cool to me to you know yeah my favorite thing in college was like going hiking to like a waterfall and getting the tripod set up and like yeah you know getting the filter on so i could do like a slow shutter <laughs> so the waterfall looks all milky and like all that stuff like, yeah that stuff's fun and then uh yeah i just did a lot of outdoor photography never really photographed anything sneak related until covid when we were all kind of like in our homes or doing nothing so like i got some shoes like i see people taking pictures i want to try and take some pictures i just want to take a picture of every single one of the shoes that i have in my collection just to document yeah. it and, and then i started posting it and then it just kind of grew from there and i've just wanted to just get better at it to the point where it's like i'm satisfied with my work i don't really care what mm -hmm. other people think but like right. just, if i'm if i'm satisfied with it like it's cool like it's just fun to create and see it and like i get a lot of satisfaction i'll be like come upstairs after taking photos editing it and i like show my wife on my phone i'm like what you think of these ones and she's like oh those are great and so that's like the best feeling in the world is when my wife gives me that validation you know it's like yeah, yeah good nah, job uh huh, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, nah, I, 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 I can relate to that, man, because you're showing other people that's, that may not really be into sneakers. So once you get their validation, like, oh, that is a nice picture, you know, they, you know, they're not being biased. You know, like, it's not because you got the Taxi 12s or you got a certain shoe in the, in the videos. Like, it's an actual nice uh, content that you create. So I definitely relate to that. And to you, uh, being, you know, taking pictures of you and what you do, man, um, I come from a family that, like, they do not like uh, documenting anything. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> so um, I learned the hard way, like, taking pictures is, like, something super, super, yeah. super underrated, man. Super yes. underrated because there's so many things I wish I had photos of. And it's, it's not like that, it, you know, my mom or, you know, my family didn't care about that moment. It's just that they didn't care about documenting. They didn't care about, like, taking those those pictures. Um, So, man, I applaud you for doing that. Your, your kids are going to definitely appreciate that. Um, I do it with my daughter, like, always taking pictures of her yes. eating something mm -hmm. or 
Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. So I can go back and be like, hey, you know, when you were this age, you were into this. You So, like, I got videos of her dancing to Taylor Swift and stuff. So, yeah, like, I'm yeah, definitely going to sh- yeah, I'm yeah. Definitely gonna show her that when she get older. <laughs> like, the other day, like, my so I have two kids. I got a I got a nine-year-old and a five-year-old. And the five-year-old was out riding his bicycle, like, around bedtime. Mm-hmm. So he had his jammies on. And then he had his helmet on when he came inside. And then he found, like, this cup of, like, I don't know what he was snacking on. But, like, he just comes <laughs> in and he's like jammies helmet snack or whatever and he's much i'm like wait hold that for a second i gotta i gotta get this okay <laughs> yeah well <laughs> just like those little like moments when your kids yeah, are yeah. like yep. doing things that just make you happy like you gotta you yeah. gotta get those <laughs> yeah i i knew um i knew your style of photography and uh, at some point it seems like you made a decision to start showing your face and yeah talking more right yep. um but your the style of your photography was so distinct that like I knew that before I knew the face or even the name like eighty sneaks right. <clears throat> I remember um I knew uh, JSM eight hundred one right. Yeah. I knew Jonathan, um, and he had mentioned like oh yeah my photographer eighty sneaks and then I go and I look up eighty sneaks like yeah I've seen this photography before <laughs> and then you know seeing you kind of venturing out to making more sneaker content what what inspired that um i think just a lot like when i started doing stuff on instagram uh like i created a separate account because i didn't want to flood my personal account with a bunch of shoes right um so i created a a sneaker account because i wanted to show people like all the shoes that i had what i wore to school that day and it all started just like taking on foot pictures and then trying to get like my socks to coordinate with what I was wearing there, not really showing anything with like what I was wearing everywhere else. Yeah. And uh, as I started posting more and like more people uh, started coming in and like asking questions or like that stuff was like, Oh, what's the rest of the fit look like? Like, what's that look like? I'm like, Oh man, yeah. like I look and I'm like, man, my fit fits not that great. But if you want to see like, <laughs> we'll try it so i think when i started i started posting like one outfit picture a week or something like that yeah and then i was like no oh, this is and those posts started doing a little bit better so i was like oh man this is what people want to see is like not just the shoes but like how i wear the shoes and yeah you know so then i started doing more and like i don't know i was super reluctant at first to show my face because you know it's social media people are people on social people, media yeah people are yeah. people people yeah. are people, people. <laughs> especially when, hey, when they're faceless man they can say oh, whatever yeah. they oh, want my God. and it's yeah like yeah it's hey jonathan hey first, we got to get him on the podcast too but <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. neither here nor there um so i remember when i so i only spent three quarters of a year at an elementary school um and i loved it i loved it i just i got a better opportunity somewhere else to to teach tennis and i took it um but i loved being the sneaker guy in Mm -hmm. the elementary school um do you find that other teachers come to you looking like yo i gotta get my daughter like how do i get my daughter the panda dunks like how do i get my daughter (laughs) you know what i mean and it's like right like do you have that experience um a lot of like my my school is kind of like in it's it's really spread out so like we have like these little like hallway sections where there's Uh like four or five classrooms in these pods yeah and like we don't venture out too much from our pods because like it's really far to like the next one but like the people in my pod like across the hall from me is this big like six seven seven dude uh who teaches like business classes and stuff he's a size 16 he's got huge feet oh Um, yeah he's big into sneakers too but he kind of has to do it from afar because a lot of the cutoff size is like 14 so he's yeah. like he's like i hate you like you always get this <laughs> stuff like they never make it to a 16. <laughs> so like we t- we talk sneakers all the time and then uh there's been a, a few other teachers in the school that uh that i've like since i started like expressing myself a little bit more through sneakers that i found that they do the same thing um there's this math teacher at my school that she wears a lot of like converse she really loves converse and so she wears a lot of that kind of stuff to school and she's got tons of different converse shoes so it's cool to like people that i didn't normally talk to in my school Mm -hmm. because i'm i'm kind of the person who likes to keep to myself but then i guess in social media other teachers are like hey i saw you on social media um and I'm like, yeah oh, yeah, cool. yeah. And so i, I, like I got that a little bit <laughs> yeah 
Um, I got that a lot too, where it was like, Hey, I heard you got a TikTok," And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I do, I do have a TikTok Cause like I was the same way. And like being at an elementary school and being a man in an elementary school, um, you know, just being a man in education, mm-hmm. um, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of us. Um, and so like, you know, since I was one of the only men in the school, I did the same thing. I kept to myself and once you know i got a lot of teachers who were like hey like my daughter found your your tiktok and uh she wants a pair of you know or she needs she needs a new pair of sneakers for christmas like what do you suggest and i just thought that was one of the coolest things like i love just like looking for sneakers like it didn't have to be like it wasn't even hype stuff usually it was like budget of one 150 bucks and it's like i'm gonna find something cool that they're gonna love and i still see them on social media wearing those sneakers and uh it was one of the things that i always loved um working at a school and being the sneaker guy yeah just the connections man this so 100 percent, 100 percent. i think it's funny how um how common is they're like now that we're we're talking and we're sitting down with you know content creators how common it is that most of like the people that um are like out there they're like so like reserved and like mm-hmm. pers- like, yeah. like i'm a, a very private person like i'm very re- very reserved like everybody doesn't have access to me but then you know you go look here like you got all these people watching you yeah and i think morgan's like the first person i've met that's like outgoing and like yeah i'm gonna say what i want to say <laughs> I'm just like, no, no, don't watch me don't look at me but like i'm gonna make this <laughs> you know it, it's crazy because i think uh selfie's the same way he's like yeah no, i don't want anybody looking at my shoes and i'm like well you know you got 200 and <laughs> over 200,000 people looking at you man it's kind of yeah. hard not to be seen <laughs> no it's weird it's, kinda it's like I, n- I never set out to do that but like i just i'm here for it like it's here and i'm yeah. gonna keep doing it because it's it's been fun and it's kind of helped me come out of my shell a little bit because i've always yeah. been kind of an introverted person yeah. like i keep my circle pretty yeah. small and so it's been cool just to meet so many dope people like and that's yeah and i tell people all the time like sneakers is like the best connection like piece that i have found in my life because yep. i have met so many people from different walks of life that i probably would have never yep. met never connected with never been friends with if it weren't for sneakers like it's, yep. it's a beautiful mm-hmm. thing yeah. yeah you you forget you forget like all the other stuff man it's just like we're talking sneakers like oh you like those i, I like them too yeah. like, oh what are those you know it, it don't matter where you're from how old you are like we're talking about sneakers yeah and that's that thing that's what you know that's a the community can get a little rough sometimes but you know there's also <laughs> there's some sweet spots in there there's some sweet spots in there it's like okay you know i'm glad we you know we're talking sneakers man i love that so i i got a question so you um say you've been teaching for 10 years yeah. um how is it watching like the trends of like sneakers do you do you get a chance to look at like yeah. oh I, I know they're trending like oh everybody's got this on everybody's wearing this everybody wearing their shoes like this how is it you know watching the trends go in and out, you know, for the past 10 years. It, you know, it's been pretty funny because, like, you see, like, I remember, like, when I first started noticing the trend is when, like, Yeezy was really big. Like, everyone wanted a pair of 350s, you know. And then you have, like, all these kids bringing, like, all these fake 350s to school that just look atrocious. You don't want to yeah. be the <laughs> teacher that's just like, yo, your shoes are fake, kid. Like, you don't want to say yeah. stuff like that because you don't want to knock some kid's confidence yeah, or anything. Yeah. But like everybody wanted those. And then uh like it was it was cool seeing like transition and now like you d- it's it's cool now because you see like a lot of kids wearing dunks. You see a lot of kids mm-hmm. wearing Jordans. You see a lot of kids uh wearing like five fifties. Five fifties are huge right now. New Balance five fifties. But then like I'm starting to see more kids branch out and wear like other New Balance models. Which I'm like, I saw a kid the other day. He came into my class. He's like, Yo, Mr. D, I got these Gore Tex two thousand two R's. I'm like, No way! Like I was yeah. super hyped about that too. So I'm like, What kid wears a pair of two thousand two R's? Right, like, exactly. Because like. <laughs> I just assume most of you guys just wear what you see on TikTok. Like, yeah, no, nah, like 2002 hours. I'm like, this kid gets it. Like, that yeah. was, that was sweet, man. I had oh, a, yeah. uh, I was working with a fourth grader who, uh, he was wearing the concept stained glass window SB. Uh, Whoa. yeah. Right. Yeah. And they were obviously way too big for him. Yeah. But I was like, so 
with my job, what I would do is I was pushing into different classrooms and working with kids for a select amount of time and then moving on and going to a different classroom. Right. right. And so at the end of my time, I like I kept looking at this kid's shoes and I was like, I asked the teacher, I was like, Hey, can I, can I borrow this kid real quick? I didn't, I, you know, I just need to take him out to the hallway real quick. And, uh, she was like, yeah, that's cool. And I was like, as soon as he came out there, I think he might've thought he was in trouble. Cause I forgot like <laughs> kids usually think that type of yeah, stuff. Like kids think that way. <laughs> yeah. And so he's kind of looking at me, like kind of shook. And I'm like, Oh no, nah. yo, where did you get those <laughs> shoes from? He was like, uh, they're, they're my brothers. And I'm like, yo, I need to take a picture of them because nobody's going to believe me. Like <laughs> I got a fourth grader in this school wearing the stained glass window dunked. And I wanted to show him a picture of me wearing them um, yeah, yeah, yeah. back when I had them. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is, it's situations like that, that I just think is so crazy and so much fun. Um, yeah, definitely. I can definitely relate to, to seeing dope shoes on the kids. Oh yeah, it's cool. Oh, and yeah. then you get like the kids that come in. So like when uh, when sneakers releases, like that drops out here, it's like ten minutes before class starts. So uh like I'll get my entry in and then they get started with class and then I don't have to like spend the mental energy worrying if I got an L or not. But like I'll get kids that come in like during the day be like they'll show me the got them screen and then i don't get it and inside i'm just like <laughs> you know it's like yeah but it's it's cool to see like kids like want to show you the excitement that they yeah. have like top of the pair of like mm-hmm. i had a kid yeah. on the, tif- the tiffany air forces on sneakers oh and he no shows way. me, and i'm like no way you got those like you just yeah. pulled a screenshot from the internet he's like no 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 look and yeah like, dude that's dope good job man like it's it's so cool yeah I had a, I had tennis players who I would, um, we would talk about Supreme drops every, yeah. every Thursday we would be like, yo, would you uh-huh. hop on Supreme this week? <laughs> um, so man, that's, it, that, that just brings me back. I don't have any kids who are into that stuff right now. Uh, no, I'm talking about tennis players now. Yeah. Um, I don't have any <laughs> tennis players who are into that. Uh, so I, I gotta, I gotta influence them a little bit better. I feel like. <laughs> Hey, you gotta work, gotta work some heat on the court when you're coaching. Look, I'm I'm trying, man. Here's the thing: is that the kids, the tennis kids, right? They don't know what's cool, so you know, I will try to wear some heat, and then they'll try to like flame me, and then like it's like hive mind, right? Right. So it's like everybody. It doesn't matter what I have on; like they just start cooking me, like. Or like I'll wear a Supreme tee and they'll be like, man. yeah, right. Like, <laughs> and, and you can't bet, you can't fight it. You just have to take it. Right. Because yep. at that point it's everybody against me. Um, so like if I'll wear like a Supreme tee on the shirt or on the, um, on the court, they'll be like, yo, that old $5 Poshmark <laughs> Uh, Supreme was like, no, like I, I bought it. Like, it's not even that hard to cop it. Like, it's not hard to cop this tee. So, yeah, man, I, lo- I love working with kids, though. I love working with kids. I love working with, you know, just being uh, a sneakerhead around kids and just being the sneaker guy. I, lo- yeah, it's, it's I think fun. I think the, the, the weirdest part, well, the, the craziest part is like you think back to when you were their age uh-huh. and you're looking at yourself and you're like, you remember when you were that young, you're like, man. Dude's old, and now you're oh a dude. Oh my gosh! You're yeah, like, you're looking like, bro. No, I'm not. It's like, I'm yeah, not old. old, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm bald. Yeah, I got some grays in my hair, but I ain't old. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, bro. Like, why is he still wearing sneakers? Why is he don't have these? Oh on? yeah, like, do you ever get that from the kids? Like, put on some loafers, Mister Dutton. <laughs> no, nah, I, I haven't ever gotten that from the kids. Like, okay, but that that was like that was like my era as a kid though, because like I never remember having a teacher other than like maybe a gym teacher that wore like sneakers to school. Right? Yeah, like, oh, it yeah, was all God. like pleated pants and loafers. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, the shirt and tie, and it was just very like. And yeah. So, yeah. When did you I graduate think, high school? Uh, oh six. Okay, no, that, no, that would have been freshman. my freshman year. Um, okay. So yeah, like I think having teachers who look like the students is so critical to like the social emotional part of of learning. Um. So like that's what I mean. I'm 
that's one of the reasons I'm a big fan of like everything that you do. Like, I don't know if you can tell I'm a yeah. big fan <laughs> of everything you do because, um, I'm, I'm really, if I wasn't, um, teaching tennis, I would be a biology teacher. My degrees in biology. Yeah. Um, and just going that extra mile and like just one, just being yourself, but also bringing yourself down to kind of their level with the kicks and like you could yeah. show up to work every day in a shirt and, and a tie um, just to kind of establish that uh, hierarchy. But like you bring yourself down to their level with the sneakers and um i think like you wear like hoodies you can wear hoodies and stuff like that hoodies school. t-shirts i wear a hat every day because like, yeah I'm, I'm bald so it's all good you know, <laughs> I, never, yeah. I never knew what it is i didn't know that either yeah, <laughs> well like I, I usually have it longer but man like it's it's thin up here it's receding like mm-hmm. where i just wear a hat but like yeah yeah i think i think for me like when i realized like, because I, like I said earlier, like I used to wear the shirt and tie to school every day mm-hmm. and, you know, establish like I'm the authority figure. Yeah. But, like, I don't think that kids learn great in that situation when they're just like, oh, this person's like up here, we're down here. Right. right? Like, now my whole philosophy is flipped. Like, the last, like, I'd say seven years is when I started wearing sneakers kind of gradually dressing how i want to thank mm-hmm. goodness i have great admin that are like really supportive of, right. of what i do um but yeah i think it's just being genuine to who you are like the the mr dutton that you see at school is the mm-hmm. same andy that you see outside of school like nothing changes right like i'm still the same person and i think when kids see that you are real and you're not just like some dude who's here to just teach them they buy mm-hmm. into what you're doing and then they respect like you know the boundaries and the rules and stuff that you set in place too like we can have fun we can talk we can do all these things but when it's time to learn it's time to listen they respect that a little bit more because they respect you kind of thing yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. 100 percent, man i i agree i agree do you, so they don't make you pay to wear jeans at your school no 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 <laughs> oh, you know yeah, like that? That? i've, I've heard about that day? yeah i've heard yeah, about it that was- they man. were making killing. <laughs> man, <laughs> look, it was, and it's like, it's so petty, bro. It's so yep. petty. Cause it was like, all right, you can either pay like $25 for the semester or you can pay a dollar every Friday. Every Friday, yeah. Man, <laughs> pay a dollar for some jeans. I'm going to just wear the khakis. And then you sit here walking yeah. around, like seeing all these people wearing their jeans and you're like, am I cheap? You know, <laughs> the best people like, are wearing their jeans to flex on people. It's like, yo, I paid a dollar to wear these. I like, know, and I'm like, no, it's, no, like, it's, it's like, it, I got the dollar. Flip. Like, I got the dollar. I got the it dollar. It was a flex, right. right? I promise you. Right. Like, I got, a, I had to walk around with a five dollar bill sucking out my pocket and my khakis just so everybody <laughs> knew. Like, <laughs> this was a I choice. Gotta, I, gotta, I got like, five Fridays. Like, I got, I was like, I got the dollar. Like, don't worry about me. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm just not, I'm just not going to pay to wear jeans. That was, that was a wild thing. That was one of the more wild things of, of working in a school was paying to wear jeans. Uh, so I'm happy that your administration, um, is cool with, you know, the, you know, with the dress code and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm glad people can wear hoodies again. I mean, I I was, Oh yeah. We weren't allowed to wear hoodies in school. Like when I was in middle school too. That they uh they didn't let you wear hats to school, and then I think it was like three yeah. years ago. My principal at the time was like, "No, nah, we're gonna let kids wear hats," and like he got mm-hmm. a lot of you know backlash from that because they're like, yeah. "Oh, well, you can't see kids' faces on the cameras and like all this stuff." It's like, yeah, but you can recognize them because the hat they're wearing. It's like, oh well, yeah, I had Johnny in class today. He was wearing that Yankees fitted. Oh, I yeah. saw Johnny like throwing yeah. toilet paper in the bathroom, and you know he came out and it was him with that hat on. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's easier to identify kids. So um but now like we there's there's no issues with like hats or anything so it's it's been pretty yeah good. and i like i like the way that education is going in that way like it's, it is focusing more like i said earlier on the social the social emotional learning of the kids and you know allowing them to be individuals and express themselves where i think when we were in school it was a lot about like um so I don't want to be like that guy, but like, you know, do the work, you know, sit there, do the work, learn, you know, take the test, whatever. And now yeah. it's about like, we're really focusing on developing high functioning human beings. 
Right. It's not just about like the curriculum that they learn right. in class. It's about, you know, everything else too. And uh, they call them like in my district, the big thing is like soft skills is what they call them. Like, yeah. How to, yeah, yeah. How, to, how to talk to people and like yep. how to interact with others and like how to handle disappointment, like all those social emotional skills. Um, like that's a big focus now. I think it's great because like there's so much more to life than like learning to do all the things that you need mm -hmm. to learn in all your classes. Yeah. A hundred percent. I agree. A hundred percent. So kind of getting away from, from education, um, who, what is life for you or who is Andy or Mr. Dutton outside of sneakers? Outside of sneakers. I mean, I've already talked about my family, so I'm married, have yeah. kids. Um, we do a lot of stuff outside. Like I said, we're from, uh, from Utah. And so like, there's a plethora of outdoor things to do here. Uh, when it gets nice, we like to go hiking and, uh, get out the paddle board and go like on the lakes with the kids and do all that stuff. We live like within three hours of like a bunch of national parks in Southern Utah, mm -hmm. um, like all the red rock country down there. Like yeah. it's beautiful. We go down there a lot just to hike and camp and just get away from things. So that's, that's mainly what we like to do as a family. And what I like to do outside of, uh, of sneakers <laughs> is just be outside, like get away from stuff. Yeah. When you say the lake, you're talking about salt lake, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, I have never been so other than, Hawaii, right? Which I don't think counts. Um, <laughs> and flying into LA, I've never been west of St. Louis. And okay. you live in a part of the country that I very, very badly want to see. Um, it, I want to see man. those, the mountains and, and the national parks, I, like Zion, right? Like you're close Zion's to Zion. Zion's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, arches, like all yeah. that stuff. Like yeah. that, that is a part of, of the country that I, very badly want to see so i am i'm jealous there's not much I don't, have you ever been to indianapolis uh never been. i think i've landed like airport but that's we got a great airport it's a great airport the airport is nice <laughs> I will give a, you that. i've been in some janky airports and yeah indianapolis uh, is not one of them no it's a nice airport but like in indianapolis is is quaint that's how i'll describe indianapolis it is <laughs> quaint like a cottage yeah. is quaint <laughs> <laughs> It's a good. That's a good. I mean, I've never. I have. Uh, I have family out in uh, Nebraska. That's the closest that I think. Like I've been to Indianapolis, which really isn't even yeah. close. But yeah. yeah, I've never been to Nebraska. <laughs> you, you ain't missing much. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine it's a lot of the same of as yeah. out here. Um, so other than you know being outside, being with the family and stuff like that, um, what is like outside of of sneaker social media right like what is your taste in sneakers what is an andy dutton sneaker uh a big andy dutton sneaker um i don't know we'll give a little little backstory here because uh it kind of leads up to i've always liked things that have been a little bit loud yeah um, like colorful um i don't know just as a kid like my parents have this picture of me where i'm like i gotta find it somewhere where i'm wearing like these like purple basketball shorts with white stripes and like a neon green shirt and then like some bright red like nike shoes and that was like my man my fit in like third fourth grade i was like yeah this is yeah it. you would be the kid with the all over print uh fortnite <laughs> fortnite uh 100 hoodie with the yeah. with the uh giant uh pop em thing that would be you <laughs> right now that would that would be you in uh in 2024 I love 100%. that. So like 100%. right now I I've, I've seen you wear the uh the Bodega Saucony um the last ones, right? Yeah. And that is right now that is the shoe that I associate with you. Maybe it's because like I think I got the first real good look um when you took the picture of it and it was like your pictures that convinced me that like I wanted the sneaker, but that is a sneaker that I associate with you like right now. Is that like a top is that a top whatever, a top 10, top five, top 20 um, sneaker for you tough. right now? Cause like I got a, I got a ton, I got over 200 pairs right now. And so it's yeah. a little excessive. I need to get rid of some. Cause like I'm doing that, uh, wear a different pair of sneakers every day to school thing. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. worn a different pair of sneakers every single day this school year. Once the school year is over, man, I'm downsizing. But anyway, uh, <laughs> 
I love I love those Sauconies. Um and I wouldn't I'd say like as of the last like two, three years, I started branching away from like the Nike Jordan brand stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I, I grew up like I played basketball as a kid and I still love basketball. I coach girls basketball. I play basketball uh, yeah. a couple times a week still. And I love basketball, but like Jordan's was my love of sneakers. That's what got me into sneakers was Jordan's. Right. And I still love Jordan's. Um, but as I've gotten older and I'm on my feet more, like I love my retros, but yeah, they ain't comfy. So no. I started <laughs> to, uh, I've started to branch out and I love Saucony. I love new balance. I love yeah. Asics. Like I'm, I'm loving all of that stuff, but yeah. Um, big, big Andy sneaker right now. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Like there's so many. I love I love those shadow grid twos, those uh those bodega ones. I love yeah. I love ninety sixties. Um like people hate yeah. those, but I love the ninety sixty. Uh I, I, I got my first pair of gel NYCs earlier this year. Mm-hmm. Um, which pair <laughs> uh i don't know what the colorway is it was just is it the GR. bodega pair no oh, it was okay, a gr okay. here i'll grab them real quick because you know okay. where i can yeah we gotta see them and it's just got, for the, look at that chair yeah dude this is from oh yeah my, vintage my, my mom gave me this so this is that fire for a while so yeah these these vintage. were the ones just the gr oh the, uh, yeah those I are can't clean. remember the colorway, but I love these. Um, I think I found them on sale, and I was like, "That's a clean colorway." And then I bought yeah. them. I was like, "Okay, now I see what people like about these shoes." So, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I tell you, I um, I got out of Jordans. Like it took me like walking across <laughs> campus in Jordans at the <laughs> age because I went to college late. I was I was a freshman in college at the age of twenty three. Yeah. Um, so walking across campus in Jordans, I'm like, nah, this ain't it. This definitely ain't <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Like I found like, I wear like insoles now, like those move insoles that you've been seeing on social yeah. media. People do, yeah. I know Seth's done some stuff about them, but, um, I've gotten a few, dude, those are a game changer for Jordans though. Like oh. I can actually wear those to teach in and yeah. they're comfortable, mm-hmm. but I, it still doesn't mat. Uh, match the comfort of like a New Balance, a Saucony, or an Asics. Just I agree. Right out the box. I yeah, agree. Hundred percent. Insoles do a number, but like it's <laughs> it's it's different. I'm, I'm too me. I'm so too emotionally tied into my retros, man. Like I I can't do it, bro. I'm, I love I'm that person. You're still young, man. I I'm that person over there. Like once I take them off, I'm like, oh, that hurt, and put on the yeah. same pair the next yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put on the like same my, pair the next day. I love, I love, like I'll wear some to school. Like I still wear them to school all the time. Mm-hmm. But then, like same thing. Like at the end of the day, I get those off. I'm like, oh man, my feet hurt, but that's a fire shoe. I love that yeah. shoe. Like that's just how it goes, man. Yeah. yeah. So funny story about Utah. I think this would be my first time actually telling this story in full. <laughs> So I, I we got a, a friend in Utah. Uh, his name is Vintage Dad. So I forgot we're he, gonna do this story. I forgot. I yeah, forgot. yeah. I we're, forgot. Gonna, we're gonna do we're gonna, we're gonna do this story. So you yeah, calling so, him out by name? You calling him out by name? Yeah, yes, I am. I am because that's the it. reason. Just just listen yeah. to the story. All right. So he <laughs> uploaded his video. He was a new content creator, sneak content creator. He's showing off his uh, PEs and stuff. He's like, "Hey guys, um, I, I customize shoes." And um, I'm just trying to get my work out there because I feel like I'm shadow banned the ones watching. So for the creators got like a large following, you know, just send me a pair and, you know, we can collaborate, whatever. I'm like, you know what? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That, that, I mean, at that time, you know, I'm really doing well on TikTok. I got like 39,000 followers. I'm like, you know what? I do that. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad I still have the flex in me because I'm like, I ain't going to send them nothing crazy. I'm going to send yeah. them, you know, a little something, something. So I send, the, I think it's the Varsity Red Air Jordan 1 mid from like 2013. Okay. So, so I'm like, we can come up with like an Olympic retro one because I don't have the Olympic 7. So I'm like, that's what we're going to do. So I send them the pair and two, three months go by. I don't hear nothing from them. I'm like, OK, you know, what? you know, life be life and, you know, whatever. And after that video, he pretty much like just he disappeared. You know, yeah, he just <laughs> like everything really slowed down. And and the crazy part about it, I'm not the only one. They're like there's a whole oh, group of people. And wow. Yeah, there's a group of people that sit there and talk about it. And they're like, oh, he got me too. So, um, I hit him up, you know, and um, he didn't respond again. You know, life be life, and I'm like, I ain't, I ain't gonna ain't gonna say nothing about it. So then we're like six months in. And then I bring it up and someone else is like, you what? Wait, I know him too. Like, you know, so 
we finally get a hold of him and he's like, oh, you know, I ain't going to do that part. I ain't going to be that messy. But he did say something was going on in his life. I'm like, all right, cool, man. I understand, man. That's why I want to bad mouth you because I know life be life. Yeah. He was like, you get your shoes in uh, a, a week or two or next month. I've, I've already finished them. Never heard from him. That's been about Dang. a year ago. Oh, my God. So, that's dude. crazy. Yeah, that's, so wow. yeah, like, I have a story about the same guy. Uh-oh. <laughs> So, uh, so I, I posted a video, you know, about reps or something like that. And, uh, you know, just trying to get some engagement and, uh, at one of those, one of those like faceless, nameless accounts commented on there talking about, I'm an elitist. I can't tell you how many times I've been caught an elitist on the internet. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. But telling me I'm an elitist and you know, they used, they used to really look up to me and now, you know, they don't, they don't rock with me. And so like, you know, when people start talking crazy like that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see what I can find out about you on your profile. And like I said, this guy had no videos, no, um, he, it wasn't private, but he didn't have anybody. And the only person this account was following was Vintage Dad. Oh, no. Was it a burner? And and the only person, no, no, no. The first person, the first person this account followed was Vintage Dad. And the only person following the the account was Vintage Dad. And so I commented back. I'm like, yo, you really got a burner, bro? And he was like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and he oh, was man. like he was like i don't know what you're talking about i don't even know who this vintage dad is and it's like when you say that i'm like bro like he's following you right he's the only person following you like you why would you follow is? your own burner though that's <laughs> oh, that's what i want to know like are you really that that hung up for likes and and follows man but yeah that's my story that's my uh my story about vintage dad allegedly yeah. i think we gotta say ale- do we have to say allegedly nah it's true <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's true i mean it's not like we're saying like oh we think this person is like this, this not an opinion it's actual true facts like i got yeah. proof i got the dms of me like sending him and all that but um yeah man i haven't seen him since um he haven't posted I haven't anything either it, instagram is not linked to the page um Dang. And, uh, it, t- it took a minute to find him like a minute wonder, to find him. and it was blocked you no uh-uh, he didn't block me because i can't you can't interact with him because nothing's connected oh gotcha. so you can only interact to through the tiktok but obviously you can just look at it and not respond right or whatever. but like his his instagram his facebook nothing's linked to it so you can't like reach out to him on another way but um, you know, uh, Brandon, he actually got Brandon too. Uh, I forgot what his name is on TikTok, but like, yeah, he sent him like a nice, but it was a neutral gray. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Yeah, who's Brandon? Ooh. No, that's Ferrano, yeah. man. That's what I call him. That's what I call him. That's <laughs> that's I know Brandon, bro. I know. Yeah, but uh, that was my first sneaker L in a long time. Yeah, um, I, thought, I, th- I, had, I thought I, you know, had you know. Watered out all the bad mistakes and poor decisions of sneaker uh, community, but apparently I nah. did. So that was, nah, a, that was a fun experience, you know. They'll keep coming. More, more of those will keep coming. That's the beauty of sneakers. It brings people together, but there's some sleaze bags. There, there are some oh, sleaze yeah, bags, man. man. There are some sleaze bags. It, it is, it is uh, very, I don't know, man. It can, I feel like um, the last year and a half, I was really hung up on like, are you really into sneakers? Are you really into sneakers? And I had to remove myself. I'm like, bro, like you, like I was getting so tied up to like, is this person really into sneakers? Do they really like sneakers? Why did you know? And I was like, it doesn't matter. Like it, it just, it's you. If you take a step back and you see how exhausting it is putting your energy into figuring out if this person is really here for this or yeah. that, and I was just like, you know what? I don't even care. And then the people that I was really like on them, like, are they really into sneakers? I'm like real close with them. Like they're in my, we're, we're texting every other day now. So yeah, no, it's, like, it's weird. Cause like, I feel like social media does that to you though. Cause like when you like, you want, you go on like, at least for me, like I'll hyper fixate on like something like, mm-hmm. Oh, this guy seems like sleazy or like, I don't like this guy. Cause it's like, why am I doing that? I don't know this yeah. person. So yeah, I stopped like, 
I don't scroll that much anymore. Um, just cause like yeah. it puts you in that mindset of just like constantly mm-hmm. wanting to critique what other people do. Mm-hmm. And like, if I met somebody yeah. in real life, would I critique them? No. Like, no, yeah, I, I like try you, to yeah. get to know them. So like, I've tried to, I've tried to like establish the way that I share content and interact with people. I don't, I don't try to do anything negative. Like I try to keep it all positive, all uplifting, all good quality stuff. Cause like, mm-hmm. man, it's, it's bad it's out there. Yeah. yeah. I, like I said, uh, like I said earlier, you and Winona kick do a great job of being positive. Um, I reached out to Winona. He uploaded a video of the uh, AE ones and it was just literally like just his hands. Yeah. And I was seeing so many accounts like just using it. And I know they were using it because his face wasn't in it because it's compared to like his other videos. I wasn't seeing it circulate as much. Mm -hmm. Um, so I hit him up and I'm like, Hey, you know, this account used your video. And I really wasn't hitting him up to like, start like a, a a bashing party it was more of just like uh you know like hey so man this is just count yeah. yeah just so you know yeah He's like man that's great man i love when people <laughs> reuse, reuse my content i'm like man you know what <laughs> that's why you're in the position you're in yeah keep charlie, that charlie, attitude man <laughs> dude, i love charlie. yeah keep that attitude also shout out charlie we worked a deal a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago he was getting rid of a uh, great cause force in my size so i was able wow. to keep those up from him so Thank yeah, you, Charlie, I see you're gonna yeah. see this. Yeah, yeah, Charlie, Charlie is is a good person. Um, but like like you said, I think a lot of people. Uh, oh, LeBron's hurt. Um, I think a lot of people they do. Or is he making it? Sorry. I mean, they're down. They're down by eleven with a minute to go. He's faking it. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. gosh! Oh yeah, I gotta, my yeah, god! Yeah, I got. Yeah, I gotta leave my Lakers alone. Hold hey, on, you're hold king. On. You're king, man. <laughs> my goat you're <laughs> my goat oh, Let's boy, see what that's, happened. A, that's a conversation for another day oh i know, I know. that is the conversation oh man he almost had a day. quadruple double with uh turnovers oh uh, yeah he did he's got oh. seven that's a turnover oh, that's that, a turnover that right there that hurt that hurt i'm, I'm sorry man crazy I'm sorry. But you know what? I'm, I love it. I love it, man. And it, that, I love it, man. Again, that's one of those. I love it, man. man. That's what you I, I love chop up and put on Instagram. It's like AD sneaks hates LeBron. Like, oh, you know that. You, you know, know that's what? Gonna, that's gonna start a fire. But you know I what? Have nothing, I have nothing he, against the man. I love. I love his game. But man, yep, he, but Instagram not gonna see you say that. No, nope, they ain't gonna see me say that. They're gonna <laughs> they're, see. They're gonna see you chop that up like. Mm, um, yes, yes, yeah. they are. Because mm. unlike you, Andy, um, I love negativity. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. No, like I, I've noticed that you know, even in my comments, or I'll see like if valid. Like I'm a big, like I like jokes and I like yeah. going back and forth. Um, and I try to make sure that everything is like between, like if it's between me and Flex, everything is like above board. Like I'm not saying anything that is gonna like. I'm not here to hurt people's feelings. I'm here to just yeah. crack jokes and so yeah exactly right and that's just you know that's just how i am and when we look in each other's comments it's like people will attack the character that they've perceived that we are and it is one of the strangest things because it's like you wouldn't you wouldn't think this of me in person um i will tell you and I've I've told this story before, but I mean we we will we'll never get a converse deal um because of this story. But um same you know, same type of thing. I make a video, um and if, wait, wait, wait. If you keep bringing it up, we're never gonna get <laughs> Well now I got the name. Now I got the name of the dude. <laughs> now I'm gonna be like He's keep on bringing it up. <laughs> Next time he see it, it's going to be on site. I promise you. <laughs> he had he the oppor- told his friends. Nah, he, he had the opportunity. He could have whooped me. He could have whooped me. He had the opportunity. We could have squashed it right then and there. You ever been with your homeboy? Like, hey, that's him, bro. That's him. That's him. <laughs> that's that's him. I already, I already, yeah, I already let him know. I already let him. That's him. That's him. <laughs> but hey, they could have done that. They could have done that. And they did it. They didn't whoop me. Bro. They didn't whoop me. And here's the thing is that they were coming back out with those heavy Converse weapons. They could have yeah. beat me with the Converse weapon, bro. They didn't. You see what I'm saying? He was a keyboard <laughs> warrior. I had to go up to him. Anyways, so um, <laughs> the dude, so his name is 
Nah, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, nah, 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 got on TikTok and started again saying that, you know, there are kids who can't afford real sneakers, so they buy reps and it's like they it's kinda like a I think it's a straw man argument. I might be wrong, but um but I'm like I'm not talking about kids. I'm I'm talking about grown people who are buying reps and, you know, <laughs> I just it's not really a uh a business that you know i think people should be getting into and so then you know of course i do my research on them like bro you work at converse like you guys make affordable sneakers right like your sneakers cost less than reps and so i said that and then he goes to my linkedin page and he starts talking about like well how is Blank, 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 gonna like it. And when they find out that they're, I'm like, bro, they're oh not gonna God. care. Then, <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward, Man. fast forward, I see him out at Indianapolis All Star. And so I was working at Foot Locker at the time. And, you know, just for the weekend, and I go up to him, I'm like, yo, like, I think me and you got into it on, on, uh, on TikTok. And he was like, yeah, we did. And I was like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna be real. I'm not as I'm not as confrontational in person as I am on the internet. And he said, Oh, don't even worry about it. Or he said something along the lines of like, like, oh, it's you, okay. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm not apologizing. I'm just telling you, like <laughs> oh, man. not as confrontational. <laughs> like, what well, I don't have anything to apologize for. So um, yeah, man. That whatever whatever we were talking about before to make that story relevant, that's why I don't I don't remember, but that <laughs> I was know, a good story. I love that story though. <laughs> hey, AD, if you don't know, I have to play uh, PR because my guy over here, Morgan, <laughs> will get, what I want. he will get he will get to rolling, and I'm like, okay, we we can't do that. <laughs> we can't I'm, post I'm it. We can't say it. episodes, and you know, I can see when things are getting cut off, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and that, you get the, the stuff that you get in is like the stuff that I feel like okay, maybe this uh okay, maybe this will pass over. But there's some stuff Morgan said, I'm just like, bro, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, like there's no way I can, there's I no think, way I can. I feel like you, you're that overly, up. you're overly protective, man, because like I talk about Chris Benoit a lot, right? We talk about wrestling on here, and like I haven't watched wrestling since Chris Benoit was alive, oh. so. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Just because he did a terrible thing means I'm not supposed to talk about him. I like Chris no, no, Benoit. No. no, no, Chris Benoit exists, and like uh, a lot of people like try to erase him from like not the me. history of wrestling. And they'll be like, "That's when," because like, oh, if you watch like WWE Network, mm -hmm. like they won't put his name out, so it'll be like Eddie Guerrero versus. Blank, and you're like Eddie Guerrero versus Blank, and then you find out it's like, oh, that's why they said, yeah. But Andy, you a wrestler fan, dude? I haven't watched wrestling since I was a kid. I think the last like wrestling, because until the other night when I was putting my kid to bed, like I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw like Stone Cold's entrance, like just popped up, and like it was like some girl's reaction, like not knowing who he was. I was like, how do you not know who Stone Cold was? Like, that was the last, like, <laughs> yeah. And then my son's like, who's Stone Cold Steve Austin? I'm like, who's Stone oh Cold Steve gosh. Austin? So then, like, we went back and, like, watched some of, like, his fights and stuff. And then we watched, like, the the most recent one where, like, he came in and then, like, The Rock came in and then Undertaker came mm -hmm. in and, like, all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, yeah, but I haven't watched, like, since that era. I have not oh. been into wrestling at all. I watched it in middle school, man. And I love, like I said, I loved Chris Benoit and that flying headbutt he would do, man. But like I said, <laughs> too many of those, too many of them, you know, yeah. yep. this, is where I gotta, this is where I got to step in and be like, all right, you done got you, you, done got you coming off. Stop talking. Stop talking. You're going to go somewhere else. Nah, man, I, um, I'm not into it as... I was when I was younger, like I was catching every little show. Um, now I mainly watch just the pay per views. Um, but wrestling was like fan? my no wrestling was my sneakers before sneakers. Like I was die hard wrestling fan, and then it just kind of like 
uh, kind of fell off in 2010s, like the whole John Cena run. I mean, I was a fan of John Cena back when he was like word life. Right. Then it kind of became the PG era, which they kind of took away all the little, they took away all um, like blood. You couldn't, mm-hmm. you couldn't bleed no more. And the screen would go black and white when they did bleed. And then there was no more cursing. It was, and then so they would like be trying to be tough and be like, you big old teddy bear. And it's just like, it's like, what? Okay. <laughs> what? <cool. laughs> I'm gonna hit you with a pillow. And it's like, it's like, we're in third grade. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that I, I kind of walked away from it, but, uh, the rock has recently gained a huge, uh, portion of it he has a huge stake in uh wrestling and um they've brought back what they're calling the the it's a new era it's kind of like the the second run of the attitude era so like now they're cursing and there's blood everywhere oh, so yeah. it's like I yeah this is, a, this is like, it was like goldberg and nwo and like yeah, all of that yeah, stuff yeah. back in the day and then on like my friend's house like we would do stuff like wrestling moves like onto his couch and we would play like the oh, yeah. whatever the N sixty four game was. Um Warzone. It was like yeah, WCW it was w- versus w- NWO w- or something mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh that game was that game was fantastic. But we always had the rule that none of us could be Goldberg because like he was like he was like Mike Vick, Atlanta Falcons and Madden uh in that game. Like you pick him yeah, like yeah, you yeah. ain't losing. It was a cheat yeah, code in that yeah. game. So Yeah, remember yeah. who like what what a hundred and thirty one and zero? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, let's get into the man. What, <laughs> let's get into the man. I got the showcase. you guys talk about anything. I'm gonna go that way. I got ADHD. Like y'all just like my students. Like oh, you, get, nah, you get me on something. Like I'll go. Man, on. Oh, you're like, that teacher. I'm that teacher, and I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, all, like kids were like, I'm mean, like, guys, it's been 25 minutes. We've been talking about like curly fries from Arby's. Like we need to move on. Like <laughs> what do you what do you teach? We, I don't even. What do you teach? So I teach a, a bunch of like elective classes. In, okay. Um. So I teach like a uh a, like a college and career class that like just shows kids a bunch of like pathways that the state offers for different like mm-hmm. technical careers i don't like that class that much but the one class that i teach the majority of is my uh my digital media class so i teach yeah. kids how to use like mm-hmm. illustrator and photoshop and premiere oh, that's and cool. like animation stuff was, and that's yeah, where nice. like uh like doing stuff with john uh millar like mm. i do a sneaker design project where kids design their own shoes like custom shoes i make them do research where they got to find like a base shoe um and then i'm like you guys got to come up with a cool story behind your shoe i don't want you to just put like a travis scott check on everything and think it's cool yeah um so they come up with some cool stories and then i provide the base shoe and then john does the customization for the winner and then we give the kid that shoe and we've done That's that twice dope. now Yo, if so, you need people to vote, if you need to oh, get a board of people, I throw it on my people, stories, man. I throw it on my Instagram stories, so I get I get dope. tons of people voting on it. So yeah, the I'm, kid who won it last semester, he did. Uh, he was so sick. He did. Uh, he did a SB Dunk Low um, after the Mac Miller album, uh, Femme Fatale or whatever it is. Yeah, one like with no one really reckoning. Yeah, with the pink with the clouds and like yeah. the mirror, like the white mirror that album yeah. cover. So he made he made an SB Dunk out of that. And like his little type up on the story was he's like, yeah, I love to skate in this like album. This like helps me get in the mood to like go skate and just like chill out. And I was like, that's dope. It's dope. Yeah. So that was I mean, the that's, one, that won, and we yeah. made it. And that kid like, dude, so cool to see the kid's face. That's when he awesome. Gets that yeah. is awesome. I love that. I love that. I will be, I would, def- when do you do that? Do you do that in the end of the year, beginning of the year? Uh, So I do it every semester. So we did that kind of like leading up to christmas time last uh-huh. semester and so we're starting it like right now uh this week kids are going to be designing and then oh, probably in the next couple of weeks i'll be putting them up on my stories yeah yeah right there. that's dope i will be there i will right be there. there to vote um man look i i can tell you we got to do something where we like where we blast that out because i love that i love that yeah. project it's so um, fun it's so fun it's, doing that. it seems like a lot of fun because it's like it's it's like getting kids to write narratives right like getting kids uh-huh. to write narratives about themselves is like it's like pulling teeth man oh and like, some like of the you things get that these kids do too i was like because i have a whole like 30 minute lesson that i talk about like storytelling and sneakers and i show like pictures yeah. of all these cool shoes that i love and like the stories behind them and like some mm-hmm. of the collaborations and stuff and i'm like like and then I show him the the edited clip from the air movie where he's like, a shoe is just a shoe until somebody puts it on, you know? Yeah. 
And, uh, and I was like, that's how it is with these shoes for me. Like, it's just a shoe. Like you look at this shoe and it's like, oh, that's cool, whatever. But then when you know the story behind it, it strikes a chord with you personally. It's like, I need that shoe yeah, because it, because it reminds me of this experience. And so I was yeah. like, and I'm telling these kids, it's like, what experiences have you had that you think people can vibe with? Uh, because just because you think something that you're going through, you're the only one experiencing it. There's millions of people across the world that are going through something very similar. And if you tell your story like that through a pair of sneakers, people are going to want it. People are going to vibe with it. People are going to want to vote for your design to win. So it's cool. It's cool. seeing some of these kids open up. Yeah. For sure. I wish they would have had something like that when we were in school. Nah, bro. Right? They were like, hey, you better do these damn math problems. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. <laughs> shut up. I can, hear you. I can hear you whispering over there. Like, yeah, stop. Stop whispering. Take your hood everything, off. Everything was the Nikes. I don't care what the Nikes came out with today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whether it was Jordans, Reeboks. I don't care about the new Nikes that came out. I care about this assignment is getting done. Yeah. yeah. You don't understand. These are... <laughs> I love I love the way I mean I know a lot of old people they don't like the way education's going but yeah you know when you have good teachers like yourself um in there interacting with the kids connecting with the kids like it it creates a better future for us yeah. right it it um I don't plan on running the country anytime so I'm going to be looking to this younger generation to be doing it for me. So uh, if they are social, socially and emotionally intelligent, you know, that's that's what I'm looking for. Um, now, this yeah. has been a fantastic episode. Again, it, they go by so fast. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into our showcase sneakers. Okay. Um, Sorry, so I've been rambling this, about stuff. Like I no, said, man, like this is what this is for. This is this. I mean, this is what, nah. this, nah, this, man, this, this, I mean hey, look, this is this is what we're trying to do, man. Like, we're not going to come up here and ask yeah. you what your first pair of sneakers was. Like, we're going to do something meaningful. You look, <laughs> look even he <laughs> you're throwing the slate there too. I caught that. See, look. I- <laughs> Oh man, we're see, gonna now th- you see what I got. We're you gonna have now meaning. I, I'm just, I said <laughs> we're just trying to have meaningful conversations. We're not trying. Nah, no, nah. <laughs> not real. To, not real deal. Hold the field. Um, that's what that's what we're trying to do, man. Yeah, we, we're trying to connect with the actual person and not what they uh what they put out. But I did I did want to mention um I seen that you did your 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 collaboration with Sneaker News, man. Yeah, and um they said that you were one of the best pages. Uh, best sneaker pages in the world. I agree. That's a huge. That's a I huge agree. Cool sign. Thank yeah. you guys. I, how did like? How did you feel like when you seen it? Like the best sneaker page in the world is dude. It's a huge. Cool sign, man. It's so weird because like I, I don't feel that way like about yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I just still feel like <clears throat> I'm just a dude. I love taking pictures of sneakers and I share it. Like I don't think it's mm-hmm. that big of a thing. But then, like, when I see it from a different perspective, like what other people say about it, like, I'm just like, Mm -hmm. man, like, I didn't realize that what I do resonated and reached so many people the way that it did. And so, like, when the sneaker news one, I think it was Bobby over there who reached out. um, He's like, yeah, we want to do this piece on you and want you to do, uh, like, Adidas is sponsoring it. Like, and we want you to take some pictures of these Adidas runners. I was like, okay, that's dope. And then even like during the whole process, like I didn't think it was anything big. And then like Mm -hmm. when they did the whole type up, man, they made me sound cool. They made me sound good. Like (laughs) that was, that was pretty cool to see that. Yeah. Um, Well, I agree. It is, it is definitely well deserved. Like I said, your, your style and your aesthetic is very distinctive. And um, I mean, the skills are there, um, but just the way that you capture the sneakers you make them look you make them look beautiful right like you make them look like no matter what the sneaker is i'm like yo that's that's a pretty dope pair of shoes right there even if i like i was like i'm I'm not rocking with that sneaker at all the way you capture the sneaker is like i don't know i i can't i can't put my finger on it but i mean you're you're distinctive style man just it's it's incredible so it is deserved i don't think i mean they didn't bs um with that so yeah thank you i appreciate that yeah of course of course man 
there's there's shoes and i'm not trying to like highlight any shoe in spe- in particular you know show any shoe love i just think like shoes are beautiful like there's yeah. an aesthetic to it and i view them Absolutely. um is like the people who put the effort into designing something like that was beyond function right like mm-hmm. if it was if footwear was just something that was functional it'd just be like you know some basic thing that you see you know like at walmart or something like just some basic right. shoe mm-hmm. no design no purpose behind it other than just right. footwear and mm-hmm. so when you see that and when you like wear a shoe or you hold a shoe or you look at a shoe you're just like man someone put a lot of effort into designing this thing like yeah i want to i want to try and do it justice like i want to i want to show like how beautiful the design is of the shoe the best yeah. way that i can kind of thing I mean, it's, it's every somebody's telling a story, right? Like when, yeah. when when they design a sneaker, somebody is telling their story, and you know, you capture that. So, uh, yeah, again, big fan, man. We're <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No fans. big no fan. Sorry, I, just, I, just, I, I went down again. Sorry, I keep talking. You guys want to do like the showcase thing? No, 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 no I'm telling you, man. I, we're I brought, good. I brought it up for yeah. I brought it up for a reason, man, because that needs to be yeah. said and highlighted. I mean, I feel like sometimes I feel like there's certain things that I feel like it's just kind of. <sighs> Sometimes people do so well so often that like something happens and it's just like oh you know AD got one, a, yeah he got enough. yeah 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 and I'm just like bro that's a huge cosign you, yeah it, one of the best sneaker pages in the world do you not know how many sneaker pages yeah. are just in our country yeah. let alone the world so yeah. like and it's like you said for, uh, you're you're a, you're yeah. just a regular guy you know what I yeah. mean mm-hmm. like you're a regular guy and we're regular guys and uh, yeah. you know. That's that's huge. Yeah, it's yeah, it's man. like Shout out I don't know. I see, I see people. It's like I always tell people that like any recognition or like clout or fame or anything just makes you more of what you already are. So yeah. if you're just a normal dude, not trying to be like some guy who you know takes a pair of sneakers, says he's going to customize it, and doesn't. Um, oh, you mean vintage you're... dad? <laughs> Sure, Shout out can, Vince's dad, that. man. Yeah. What's his name? Vince Scott? Vince what's, his, what's his real name? Give these men that shoes. Scott. But, I don't know, man. I ain't gonna say his real name. But yeah, like... If Go ahead, AD. You don't, like... If you're if you're a scummy human, if you're not a great person, like, and you get any recognition, you're just gonna keep being that just on a bigger scale. So, right. like... Mm. I don't know. It's not hard to be a good person. Just be a good person. And, uh, you know, things happen. Yeah. Good or bad, just be a good person. Yeah, hundred like, percent. I like that. I like that. So, who's gonna go first on the showcase? Flex, I think how it's you. How many man. more times can we get distracted during the showcase? That's what I'm <laughs> I, I, with my showcase. I feel like we're gonna get distracted. Of course, because we are. me, we, me and uh, we are in competition. So whenever there we got a guest on, we always try to tie in our pair. And I know more. Yeah, see, look. Yeah, I had. I had to <laughs> oh, get back. <laughs> I had to get some get back because on the extra butter uh episode I, I didn't have any extra butter pairs. But I do know the AD's uh one he's a very big fan of the Laney colorway, the oh. Laney fives in particular. So I didn't have the Laney. You see, these aren't my showcase. Laney- these aren't my showcase. So yeah, oh, oh, look oh. At, you see that? Yeah. W. I officially Dude. won this episode. <laughs> so uh, I, I got pulled out the Laney fourteen lows, man. Uh, underrated. Uh, silhouette, underrated colorway, uh, and my main reason for grabbing these was because I missed out on uh, the Laney Fives back in 2012, 2013. Mm-hmm. Um, so when we seen these, I was like, you know what, I gotta have a Laney. I didn't want the retro ones, so those ones <laughs> are a little too bright even for me. Like those are a little yeah, too bright. yeah, yeah. So I got the the retro port. So yeah, that's a that's a cool shoe. Um, and all, but I mean a fourteen <laughs> low. When that, when, when you ever see a fourteen low man, probably Mike Bibby wore a pair. So AD, let me uh, <laughs> let me ask you, man. Let me ask you. Yeah. Out of all of the Penny Hardaway sneakers, which one is your favorite? I love like I think like aesthetically, I love mm-hmm. the Penny Twos um, mm-hmm. the most. But yeah, I love the whole story and kind of like thing that Mike Bibby wore the foam posits before Penny had the foam posits kind of thing. In yeah. The, in the um, and then, so that like the story behind those was crazy. But as yeah. far as like his actual signatures, um Penny twos are good. Um 
Penny ones aren't aren't as good, in my opinion. Penny threes were beautiful, but yeah, I mean, they're who knows? Maybe Nike's gonna bring them back, but yeah, I've I've been happy <laughs> to see the Penny two resurgence. Yeah, for sure. Um, do you remember the colorway that Mike Bibby was wearing? Was it the blue? So I got I in mine. I got the. Uh, see, I tied it in. I tied yeah. it in. You saw that. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> not the same. Not the same, bro. So, <laughs> so I got the royal. Yeah, I got the royal blue foam posit. Um, this is the. I think it's the 2016. So tell them, AD, the Laney blue is a lot better than that blue. But I disagree. I'm a little biased yeah. to the Laney's, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have yeah. to pick Laney's. Oh my gosh. It's like that. Laney's Laney's are personal, man. Like these so okay. Is that? These released twice, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what year the first one was? Oh six. No. Two thousand. Two thousand. So it was two thousand and two thousand thirteen is when this one was. So in two thousand, uh Andy was a, a young lad and I grew up in Idaho. And so uh-huh. there was not a lot of sneaker anything up in Idaho. So my only exposure to sneakers was East Bay magazine and oh, then yeah. seeing what people would wear like on the court at basketball games in high schools. I go to this game with my dad. I see this guy on the opposing team wearing a 2000 pair of these. And that was the first time that I saw a pair of Jordans in person in my life. And I was like, what are um, these things? Those are beautiful. I need to have them. Yeah. And I didn't know how to get them. And then, uh, you know, full circle moment come around 2013. I'm a broke college student couldn't get them still because i'm a broke college student uh-huh. so it was my after my first year of teaching i circled back and got these on on ebay and so that's that's why the laney's man um it's just okay it's, it's a special one so nothing you, against the foams nothing against the blue and the foams but yeah absolutely not nothing so, against the foam. okay so <laughs> i need a history lesson about yes. the 2000 laney's because i have an issue with the 2013 laney's it's those laces yeah those i laces don't like the awful. lace Okay, so did it come with flat laces in no. 2000? No, it Those didn't. The same it was ones? the same laces. The only thing that's different between this pair and the 2000 pair is the Jumpman logo on the back of the 2013 mm-hmm. is black, and then on the 2000 pair, it's the same blue as the midsole. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to be I also don't like the fives with that tongue, with no. that neoprene tongue. It's comfy, though. It is comfy. It is comfy, but I want that. I like that the that stiffer tongue on there. Yeah. No. So you're bashing AD Sneak's favorite yeah, shoe. You're bashing. <laughs> wow, man, you really you really dig you really digging a hole for yourself, yes, buddy. Because he didn't <laughs> like my foam posit. I love your foam posits, but <laughs> I, I, told, I told you I'm partial to Laney's, man. That, you did, you did, and it was a great story. And I and I'm, and I'm still trying. Like, if anyone who's listening to this has a size 11 crumbled destroyed like lowers of a 2000 laney please please let me know i want those because i want to restore a pair because that would be like the ultimate full circle moment to have the actual pair that i saw as a kid that year we yeah like, nah, we'll find back. we'll find a pair we're gonna clip this well yeah we'll, we'll clip, clip this yeah, and we'll then we'll get it. you a pair don't 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 gouge me for price either people come on if it's oh crumbling, no oh. we're not doing we're not head cracking we're not head cracking. Because I saw this, I saw a pair on eBay. Um, like dude is wanting like three twenty five, and the soles are like dust. The upper looks nice, but I'm like three twenty five. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Anyway, go back to the, the go back to that same guy. Rents do. Rents do. <laughs> rents yeah, got to be due at some point. Rents <laughs> yeah. got to be rents due. due. All right, Andy, what'd you uh, what'd you bring today? So I, I was debating because um, these were two shoes that uh, I, I like to highlight shoes that not a lot of people, um, you know, recognize. You see mm-hmm. social media feeds, you know, with the latest release or like super hype Travis Scott this, super hyped off white this. Um, mm-hmm. There's been some beautiful collaborations the last few years. Um, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two if that's if that's okay yeah, with the hundred percent bylaws of hundred percent podcast. So the first one that I'm going to do is the the Notra Dunk High. Yes. I love this incredible pair. sneaker. I have I have the white pair. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's it's further over that way. Sorry. I was trying to do something cool or show like a pair of shoes that's behind me, but it's not. Hey, we'll, we can we'll do an overlay. We got you. Don't even worry. I love it. Just like <laughs> make make that spin. It's like here. And we'll make it pop. the white pair. Right there. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Yep. <laughs> Yep, but I love I love the blue pair just slightly more because of the suede on it's just so mm-hmm. like 
fuzzy and hairy. I love the the storytelling that they did behind it, like representing the blue collar workers of Chicago, um, doing like the the name badge that you would see mm-hmm. in a lot of those like people's kinds of shirts and stuff like that. And uh, I love it. Uh, and I love like the handshake little motif that they got for Notra here on the inside check. You can't really, yeah, yeah you can kind of see yeah. it right there. Um, yeah, with the check. And then just the, you know, the inside part here's canvas, the outside parts leather. I mean, they went mm-hmm. all in. Um, yeah. And I love it too because, like, at the time I was teaching more like manufacturing, like blue collar type classes, like woodshop mm-hmm. classes. And I was like, oh, this is the skills that I teach my students. Like, I got to get that pair, like, just for that reason, too. And then, yeah, Notra, I've, I've, I've pulled, I pulled this pair out a few times on other things that I've been on. And every time mm-hmm. I pulled out, I just say, Nike, please do another collaboration with them. No okay. kidding. did so well. Do another one, please. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's pair number one. Pair number two, um, you guys know what okay. these are. I don't. Oh, wait, 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 flip it around. Okay, so you guys know Packer, right? Yes. Zeke. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did these last year, the Adidas Intimidation, um, bringing back like late '90s Adidas basketball shoe. Yeah. And I, I remember like seeing these because I remember seeing these in East Bay catalogs growing up, like the ones that were just like yellow and white and not very mm-hmm. like, I don't know. At the time, I'm sure they were fired, but you look back at it now, you're like, oof. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, uh, Packer did two colorways in these, and this was the one that I was able to get. And I love these because you can see, like, that midsole looks somewhat familiar, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. The, easy yeah. Easy, yep. yeah. Yeah. And so it was funny when I posted these, people were like, oh, are they just stealing from Ye again? And I'm like, oh my gosh, you, they have no clue. I was like, yeah. I think it was the other way around. Like, right? He, he had access to the Adidas catalog, and he pulled some inspiration from a lot of things to do it. Yeah. So, like, yeah, this yeah. is where he got the midsole idea um, mm-hmm. for the five hundred. And I just thought it was a sick shoe because, as a kid, like the chunky Adidas basketball shoes with like the Kobe line that they were doing back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, I love like just the chunky like pod like looking designs. Yeah, and these just brought me back to that. So I was like, oh, cool. This is this is a pair that. You know, probably not a lot of people were going to put on their sneaker, the year list or anything, but it's still just a it's beautiful still a dope shoe. pair. Yeah. I, yeah. That's my, that's why it's a showcase, man. Yeah. Right. My, my only gripe with Adidas is that they will, um, go back into the archives and pull out a gorgeous shoe and then just kind of forget about it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, like I thought that we were going to have a resur- or resurgence of the ZX line, like just the ZX sneakers, yeah. um, you know, 7,000s, 8,000s, 9,000s. And they, you know, went pretty hard for a while and then they, they just stopped. Um, Adidas has a lot of great sneakers in their archives that need to be put out, especially with this, uh, this Kanye West separation, like, Mm -hmm. I feel like this needs to be their, uh, their identity now is like those types of sneakers. Cause that was fire. Like I'm usually hip to the Packer collabs, but I I didn't see that one. Um, Yeah. They're they're still pretty, I think they're still around or less than retail on most, uh, secondary sites. So there's the other colorway has like some burgundy, like where this gray is, it's like a burgundy Mm -hmm. wine Mm -hmm. color. Oh, they're so good. I need to get that other pair, but yeah, like Adidas, I love Adidas stuff just because it's always been different um, yeah. than like what you see from Nike or Jordan or any of the other brands. And so, yep. uh, yeah, bring some, bring back some of those, those archive pieces. Yeah. Get some more collaborators in and do some fire stuff. And for sure. Um, I remember when being in middle school and high school and thinking like Adidas was just for like the lames and the European kids. <laughs> um, but like, now as an adult man like adidas has some really really cool stuff like you said the the kobe's the i mean even i mean people hate on those like the toaster joints man the toaster uh you know i'm talking about like the silver um i think it's like the the twos the the kobe twos oh the kobe twos that have like the laces hidden and all that yeah Yeah. space boot yeah but it's like that's a cool shoe like i think i think it's a really really cool shoe um 
the KB8, you know, I know they're calling it the Crazy 8. That's a great shoe. Crazy eight. The Crazy 99s, like, like even... Just- even some of the stuff like when they were experimenting around with like their bounce like the little like circles with the line through it mm-hmm. midsole back yeah yeah, like, yeah. Kev- kevin garnett and tim duncan had some yeah with that yeah yeah and even now like the uh what is it the crazy infinities that mm-hmm. look kind of kobe-esque right have yeah the, the shroud the zipper shroud mm-hmm. those are fire Nile, those are so Nile. pretty like, mm-hmm. i love yeah. that shoe just because it's like I feel like that's a modern version of what everybody was hoping that Kobe was back in the day, as far as like the mm-hmm. wearability side of it. And they're beautiful, yeah. man. Yeah, they're and so then cool. even with the new models, like the AE, and I've and I've said this, oh. the Harden and the AE, like you can wear them casually, like and lows you know, too. Do you guys see them lows did today? You see the- I I know. I didn't see the lows. Look those up after this, dude. They're doing an AE one low. It looks. Are you serious? He wore them today in their playoff game. Yeah, I was. I've been coaching tennis all day. I only got the second half. Nice. Okay, I'm. I I got a look. I got. And now, now I know people talking shit about wearing AEs with jeans. Now you have to with a low. Yeah, you just have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I'll, I was I was I was on the fence about them, but when I seen those lows, dude, they're good. The highs of seats is really like a basketball suit. These kinds of like a like a casual wear. Yeah, they're even more of a both. casual wear type. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. the high, yeah. Like, I'll say this: like the the highs, like they're kind of hard to get your foot in. I ain't gonna lie; I got they three are. pairs of them. Yeah, um, I hoop in them. Like that's my go-to hoop shoe that I wear, and I love them. Like mm-hmm. performance-wise, they're incredible. But casually, yeah, they're a little tight. I mean, it's a performance shoe; it should be, but. These lows. I do them. I, I loose lace them. I loose lace them yeah. like foams. Um, like, <laughs> like, uh, you know, like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what I do. Dude. What'd you say? What'd you say, Fleck? Grow up, dude. You said grow, grow up. up dude. I know you're not talking <laughs> with your not connecting beard. Talking about grow up. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, I'm still young. I'm still young, <laughs> man. I'm struggling. I'm, you I'm, got the, look, I've been talking you to- got the shadow of a beard, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? We can see it. Look, like, you can see it coming, but it's just even. Even your goatee look like a shadow, bro. It looks like something used to be there. <laughs> oh man! Oh man, I love it. So man. I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that in there, too. man. I hope you do. So, Andy, nah, it was it was great having you today, man. Um, really, really good man. conversation. Absolutely. This was a really fun one. Um, you know, we kept it pretty light, other than vintage dad. Um. So let people know where can they find you? Um, yeah, where can people, you know, go ahead and plug yourself. Uh, yeah, you can find me mainly on Instagram, AD double underscore sneaks, uh, TikTok, the same thing. And I think I have a YouTube channel with that. Yeah, I, love I think that. I do. Yeah, I do. I, think I, I, I don't know if it's the same name. I think it is. I have some shorts on there and maybe some cringy videos that I tried to do long form from a couple of years ago. But yeah. Awesome, man. I like it. I like well, it. I thank like you. It, man. Thank you for coming, man. I we we definitely appreciate everything that you do. Yep. Um, keep taking those pictures. Keep inspiring us. And yeah, yep. flex. We're gonna, keep, we're gonna keep on. We're gonna keep on watching. Like Morgan said, man, we appreciate you taking the time out your day to come talk sneakers and more with uh, the Soul Brothers, man. Um, of course, we're big fans, and we're hoping fans of the podcast and moving forward. We're 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 climbing and we're gonna keep on climbing. Absolutely. All well, right, thank guys. you guys. Appreciate yeah. you having me. Of course, man. Yes, sir. Love, peace, and sneakers. Brothers. Yeah. So brothers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.